you know, sons and daughters out there, like, you know, call mom. Like, call mom and dad, especially if you live in the same town. Go visit them. Don't be an individual that gets so, you know, caught up in your own personal life that you forget that your mom is like right down the street. Like, you know, our mothers, they birthed us. They raised us. They love us. And then we get married and then we act like mom doesn't exist. Like, that's crazy. That's not the way of the Prophet Let me tell you about the way of the Prophet See, the Nabi was with an army of 3,000 men. Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu arda, he narrates this. And he stops at Abwa. He stops in the location of where his blessed mother, the mother of the Prophet, Sayyida Amina, is buried. And the Prophet went by her resting place. You could imagine this with an army of 3,000 believers. And he started to cry. And Sayyidina Umar says that the Prophet cried hatta abkana. Until we all started to cry because of his crying. He said, look, Sidna Nabi, his mother, he's visiting his mother. He's in the presence of mom. How important is mom? And he just starts crying. He's, Wallahi, who was Sidna Nabi? He's the Prophet. He starts crying and crying. Until Sayyidina Umar says, we all started crying because of the crying of the Messenger of God, sallallahu ta'ala, alayhi wa ala alayhi. He went and visited his mom. So visit your moms. Visit dad, be in touch, call. This is what the Prophet ﷺ taught us to do.